In this problem, we are going to solve this particular problem which appeared in J Main 2023. It's a very simple problem, but it looks like a very complicated one. So first understand the problem statement. So here says that if is a set containing the alphas, right? We satisfy the given uh, logarithmic equations. Now way after finding out all those alphas, right? It says that, right? That we have to find the maximum values of beta such that right the quadratic equation x square to summation of alpha summation of alpha plus one whole square into beta have real roots so in to solve this problem first we have to find the possible alphas and then we need to find out the quadratic equation and then we have to find the condition of having real roots. so let's go ahead and solve this particular problem in the solution section let's go ahead So first we consider the set. So in this particular set, right, we are having a equation, right? So uh, without for forgetting everything, first we consider the uh, logarithmic equation. Now, first we recall the properties of this logarithmic equation. What is the property? We know that log of a minus b log of b is equal to log of a by b. So therefore, we can say that it's equal to log 9 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 plus 13 divided by the remaining thing okay that's it now if we apply the definition of logarithm so whatever in the, they are inside the bracket right that will be equal to 2 to the power 2 and that's equal to 4 so that's the first step so now we easily obtain right a simple equation uh, without having the logarithmic term so now proceed so now well, we just multiply right both sides by the denominator that means right 5 into 2 to the power alpha minus 2 alpha minus 4 plus 2 that's very basic so if we do the cross multiplication we get an equation now here we observe that right we have 9 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 and 3 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 so to, to calculate the value of alpha or uh, it is better that we rewrite this uh, all in the form of 3 to the power something so that's why 9 we replace by 3 square and therefore the 3 square whole to the power 2 alpha minus 4 will be equal to right that 3 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 whole square is equal to 26 and 8 is 18 and 23 alpha 3 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 now here we consider that t is equal to 3 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 so therefore the given equation will be reduced to right 2t square minus 20t plus 18 equal to 0. So it's a quadratic equation in t. So therefore, we are able to apply the middle term factorization. If we do the middle term factorization, we get the uh, solution of this uh, equation in the form of t is equal to 1 or 9. So t is equal to 1 or 9. So therefore, 3 to the power 2 alpha minus 4 will be equal to 1 or 9. And 1 can be written as, as 3 to the power 0 and 9 can be written as, as 3 squared. So therefore, 2 alpha minus 4 will be equal to either 0 or 2. And hence, alpha is equal to 2 or 3. So therefore, the logarithmic equation will be uh, satisfied if alpha is equal to 2 or alpha equal to 3. That's it. After obtaining the alpha values, we need to find out that summation alpha belongs to the set S. So therefore, S contains only two elements, two and three, right? So therefore, summation of uh, summation of alpha, right, uh, is equal to two plus three sum, that is five. And summation of alpha plus one whole square will be equal to two plus one whole square plus three plus one whole square, that is equal to 25. So therefore the given quadratic equation, right? The given quadratic equation will be, will be reduces to, right? How we reduce? We just substitute the appropriate values in the appropriate places. So therefore the given equation will be reduces to, right? Uh, x squared five, two into five squared plus 25 into beta equal to zero. Hence x squared 50 x 25 beta equal to zero. So now we need to find out the condition, right? So that this equation x squared 50 x 25 have a real root. That's it. So that for a quadratic equation, we have a real root if the discriminant is greater than or equal to zero. So that's why 
so that's why we consider that for find the discriminant of this equation what is the discriminant b square minus 4 is ac so therefore it will be 50 square into uh, minus 4 into 25 beta that is c and a is 1 so therefore it will be 2500 minus 100 beta now as the equation ha ha of having a real roots is the discriminant is greater than or equal to 0 so therefore 2500 minus 100 beta greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, if I divide it by 100 both sides, we get 25 is greater than or equal to beta or in other way, beta is less than or equal to 25. So therefore, the beta value must be always less than 25. So therefore, the maximum values of beta is 25. And that's why for this particular problem, the uh, correct answer is 25. And that's it. It's a very simple problem. Only we have to do a little bit of calculation at the beginning and that's it hope you understood the problem thank you